So for this next video we'll be looking at the next section after work experience. So that is what we call pre-professional activities. So just a quick recap of where we are so far. We've looked at the top section, the sort of introduction to the CV. We've looked at personal statement. We've looked at work experience. And now we're here looking at pre-professional activities. So professional activities essentially is uh, any sort of impactful experiences, any work that you've done that maybe strictly speaking was not uh, under an organization that was, you know, a business or a company. Yeah. So it could include activities such as being the club leader. Yeah, so you see for Jimmy is written club leader or being part of an organization like uh, ISEC or K K M U N or the Red Cross or you know student organizations in campus. Uh, it could also be being part of a uh, church group where you organized events or other such similar activities. So you'll notice for Jimmy here he's got one professional qualification. So it's when he was at USIU and it's the business club. So when he was in the USIU business club, business association club, and he was the club leader. Yeah. So notice that he uses the same format as his work experience. He has the date, he has the organization, and he has <coughs> his role. So you can see it again when we go back to work experience. You can see it's the date, it's the organization, and it's the role. Yeah. So let's just look at his professional activities. So this comes after your work experience. I'll repeat just once again. And uh, you see the format is quite similar to writing work experience. So he has accomplishments and responsibilities, and then he lists three of his main accomplishments and responsibilities. So we can look at one. So he says coordinate activities between environmental club and business associ association club, which is altered in a joint club charity initiative at Dorothy Children's Home, Nairobi. Yeah. So he's writing it quite similar to work experience because these pre-professional activities should do the same thing as your work experiences, which is showcase what you did they should be in past tense and if possible you can include numbers just to further uh, showcase your impact right uh, after professional activities we just move on to the next thing which is academic qualifications so for this one try and avoid putting things like primary school no one needs to know about that uh, again you see the format is the same all through here's the date and he has the institution. So that's the date and that's institution. And you just write what you're able to, uh, what degree you're able to get, you know, what qualification you're able to get. He's also included his high school, which you can do. So St. Andrew's Turi. And uh, he's able to, he put in his date for when he was there and the certificate that he got while at that particular school. Yeah. So that wraps up this video where we've looked at the academic qualifications and you looked at how you can include professional activities which could be things you did for church things you did for your school clubs uh, campus school clubs or other similar organizations